Hi guys and happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a beautiful Tuesday. I was all over the place today and um, uh, I started out very early and I was home by 12, home by noon. So I hit three, three thrift stores between like 8.30 and noon. So it's very, very fun. Uh, I found a lot of cool things today. Uh, We'll go in order of the thrifts that I went to. So sad that it is the last day of my vacation. I, don't make me go back. Don't make me do it. We are drinking a Winter Chills Ale by Fordham and Dominion, the uh, Dover, Delaware Brewery I told you about the other day. Very yummy. All right, let's see. First stop, I went to the um, Goodwill Outlet. One of my uh, actually has become one of my all-time favorites because it really it's it's uh, it's the what do you call it it's the search it's the challenge I guess you want to say but um, it's the mystery you never know what you're gonna find there and that is what I like about it so much. All right, so it's a little chilly today, so I do have my Cossack hat on, and I do love this hat very much. Um, all right, so the Goodwill Outlet. Uh, everything I bought was by the pound, and I found some great stuff. The chair I am sitting on, which is a really cool vintage folding chair, I bought there. And here's a picture of it right here. That was a great little thing. I also found this beautiful vintage Mary light uh, with silk around. It's just really um, beautiful, but it's very fragile. So here's a picture of it right here. I wouldn't dare plug that thing in. That Do you see the old plug on that picture? Wow. And there's also some very old dried out tape around the cord. So you can imagine. Yikes. Skitty's like, don't plug that in. I said, I won't. I've done it before with phonographs and blown out plugs and he knows that. So uh, I said, I will not plug it in. Don't worry. This one really scared me. <laughs> I found this beautiful uh, Mary statue. Very beautiful. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Made in Italy. Beautiful. I, I'm going to guess that Mary and that beautiful Mary picture probably came from the same place. Very, very beautiful. And I love these vintage statues. She's uh, stepping on the snake. Stepping on the snake. Very cool. I love that. So beautiful. And here's her face. Beautiful, beautiful face. Uh, I found this little musketeer. Look at him. He's so cute. Little shorts, little musketeer ears, and a little tail. Little mouse tail. Very, very cute. And he's got sleep eyes. When you lay him down, his eyes close. So he's really, really cool. Little musketeer. And I found this, which is really fun, I think really really cool for my hats um, this is the generous hostess medal of appreciation for celebrating the holiday spirit with grace and goodness and you know that is me I always celebrate the holidays with grace and goodness so this little award pin and it is um what do you call it it's got that good pin back you know like a like a real medal so it's really cool and it has a little snowman with a Santa hat um, on the, it's really really cool can you see it there at all I don't know I'll put it towards this, the light but a very cool pin for the actually looks kind of like that so uh, 
I'll put that on one of my hats for sure. So that, oh, oh and then I got this beautiful architectural piece, like a fleur de lis. Very cool wooden piece, which will go uh, on as fence art, you know. Any fence art that doesn't really make it through the winter and it needs a new, um, a new piece, I'll put it in its place. Very, very cool. I found so much great outdoor stuff this year, so far already. All right, then I went to Value Village, which is the same as Unique, depending on where you live. Most of them are called Unique. The receipt still says Unique, but the place is called Value Village. And over there, I found this beautiful Kachina sign um, that is kitchen and Italian, of course, but I loved it instantly, and I put it right here. I love that thing. Um, I also found uh, this book. Check this out. Monstrous. Huge. Look at this book. Enormous book. It's called Vampires, Encounters with the Undead. What a great thing. I absolutely love it. Look at that. They have, uh, put your fears aside and step into the realm inhabited by those dark cloaked creatures of the night, known for generations as vampires. They have been worshipped, hunted, mythologized, fantasized about, and feared. And the macabre adventures have been chronicled by some of the world's most imaginative and gifted writers. Meet the vampires of fact and fiction in such tales as The Book of Vampires, Vampires of Romania, that sounds great. The Vampire a Tale. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 20 tales in here. This really looks great. I'm excited about this. Uh, the Adventures of the Sussex Vampire by Sir Arthur Cor uh, Conan Doyle. Uh, Dracula's Guest by Bram Stoker. Very, very beautiful. Look at that. So fun. Uh, then I found these two little... Um, Nativity pieces made in Italy. They're marked Italy. We have Mary and Joseph. Very beautiful. These feel these are composition ones, which I love. They're so unique, the composition ones. They're always painted really nicely too. So I got those. They were in a baggie together. I found these two little um, crucifixes. Uh, and the bottom of the stand say Sacred Heart Southern Mission and a phone number and a website www.shsm.org How cool! I thought these would be great for the um, Chepo next year. Very, very nice. And um, they came apart from their stands. You put them together very fun and then I found this crazy creepy looking mask you know I love masks for outside he's wood and he's got a really strange face so that'll be fence art also very very cool that's what I got in value village then I went to my regular thrift and I found a couple of things. I found Yoshi Copper Grill and Bake Mats. I've always wanted these things, but they're still in the box, so it uh, looks like they're obviously they were never used. So I'm going to use one for my grill and one for my oven. Very cool. Great for grilling indoors or outdoors, baking, and more. Grills and bakes right through the mat. Keeps your food off the grate and tasting great. Makes perfect grill marks every time. Food slides right off the mat. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I've seen them around. Never bought them. Um, but I always wanted them. I always wanted a, a mat for my 
for my grill. Heat conductive mat, grill mats for even more even cooking. Hmm. Very cool. Very fun find. I found this beautiful elephant outdoor art. Look how beautifully his thing is painted. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. Look at him. He was not there yesterday, so I was kind of happy that I found him. He's perfect outdoor art. Love him. Either for the porch or the deck. Really great. He weighs a ton. His regular price was fifty-seven thirty. It's on the bottom of his foot. <laughs> fifty-seven thirty. Got him for seven ninety-nine. Love him. Love him. Absolutely beautiful. And I found another Sam Adams uh, flight glass. Very cool. Uh, I probably need about two or three more. Uh, one, two, three, two or three more to make a flight. Sometimes they're usually five or six, right? That would be great if I could find two more, two or three more. And I found a little Captain Lawrence Brewing Company flight, uh, flight glass. And these are 59 cents each, so really fun. Really cool. So that was the thrift day. And I uh, can put the little musketeer on the elephant. And this morning on the radio they were talking about no, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday on the radio they were talking about um, that horrible incident in uh, Coney Island where they electrocuted the elephant that went haywire. And uh, I, can't, I couldn't listen to it. But anyway, I can't listen to that. But And Edison filmed it. That's the creepiest part. And uh, so we have this beautiful elephant. Ah, uh, to commemorate that poor elephant that they killed, that they electrocuted. Oh, oh also, in Value Village, <laughs> I found this. And, of course, if you're a fan of um, Sven Gulli, you'll know all about these. So that was fun. I found a lot of great stuff. And uh, the, the cops were um, stopping people uh, on River Road. And I got really nervous because, you know, with COVID and everything, I didn't get to uh, get the Jeep inspected. And I thought they were going to, you know, stop me for that. But he just stopped me and said, said hi. It's like, hi, officer. And then just moved me along. So they weren't, I guess they weren't, I don't know what they were checking for. But it couldn't have been for expired um, um, inspection. I don't know. Because I think uh, after they reopened, they gave you till a certain date to get it re-inspected. But I'm sure that motor vehicle is a zoo and I didn't want to deal with it. And mine was due July, right in the middle when everything was closed. So... But it's cool. I mean, I always have the thin blue line sticker on the back of my Jeep, and, and they always, like, thumbs up that. So they know I'm a supporter. So that was the day. I was going to stop by Craig's, but um, by the time I got out of the outlet, it was still really early, and Craig doesn't get to the store till about 10. And I wasn't going to hang around for, like, 40 minutes. So uh, I just headed back but anyway I did find some great stuff and even with my folding chair my my that is see my table has stools and I've been looking for chairs if I could have gotten two of these I would have been really excited because I need a back I need a back on my chair especially when I'm on the computer it just it's just more comfortable and here this one has a back which I really like and it's a heavy-duty little chair and I wish I could have gotten two. I wish they had two if they put out another one when I'm not there, I'll be pissed. But I'll keep checking. Maybe one more will turn up. Who knows? Because a lot of times in the back, they just grab whatever and put them in the bins and send them out. I never, like, keep things together or, you know, stuff like that. So we'll see if I can find another one. But for now, it's great for me when I'm on the computer to have the back. Um... So I guess uh, what we'll do is make the little pinwheels 
the um, sandwich pinwheels and uh, I'm gonna call it a day. I don't want to go back to work guys. I really don't. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Tuesday. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and secure wherever you are. And uh, take merch below. Comment, subscribe, spread that love. I love you all. See you next weekend. Mwah. Love ya. Hi guys. All right, let's make our, these are actually Catherine's um, sandwich pinwheels and these are so good. She is a, a channel that I watch here at Catherine's Place and um, I absolutely love her. Everything she makes, I want to make. <laughs> Everything is so easy and looks and comes out so good. So these I made the other day and they came out amazing. So I still have my spread here because we made um, double the other day. Cause we weren't sure if we are going to make two um, containers or one of um, crescent rolls or one. So what you need for this is um, a half a block of cream cheese you need a quarter cup of bacon bits uh, or pre-cooked bacon. You need uh, three scallions and you need a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So you mix all of that together and get that ready to spread. Make sure that your cream cheese is room temp before you try and mix that up, okay? You're going to need um, deli meats, whatever your favorites are. I have here smoked uncured ham and smoked turkey breast. You can use any deli meats that you like. And then I have some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese shredded. We need um, a tin of crescent rolls. And we need a little bit of flour. And that is it. So let's see. This I left this out since um, I left this morning, so it should be nice and soft. So what we're going to do first is sprinkle our board with a little bit of flour. Sprinkle this with a little flour. And then we're going to open up our crescent rolls. <coughs> This is so easy and so good. And I'm telling you, if you're looking for something really yummy to serve to the guys uh, when you're watching the football game, this is perfect. It's also perfect for a nice little hot lunch uh, in a snowstorm or whatever. You know, a nice, uh, warm, comforting little tidbit. I, we really loved them. I made them on Sunday. Getting biscuits out of the tin is like, I don't, it's crazy. All right, so what you're going to do is try and unroll these suckers. I don't even see where it begins. I think it starts here. Okay. I'm going to unroll these crescent rolls this way. And what you're going to do is close them up a little bit because they're going to open into crescent rolls. So you want to close them up as much as you can. Okay. You can roll it out a little bit if you want to into a rectangle, but uh, we did that the other day and it wasn't that, wasn't all that necessary. I think we'll be fine just like this. Okay, everything seems to be pretty well sealed up. And what we're going to do is spread our cream cheese mixture all over. Cream cheese, bacon, scallions mixture all over the uh, crescent rolls. Put 
put it all out on there and then we'll spread it. it smells so good. In fact, like uh, Catherine's husband said when she was making this, this mixture is like exactly like a cheese ball. So it's so good <laughs> that uh, you can eat it just as is. Really, really good. So we're going to spread this out, covering the entire uh, crescent roll dough here. Take your time and spread it nicely. Spread it into every corner. All right, we have our, our uh, mixture spread. And let me tell you something, this isn't an exact science. It comes out great no matter what. So you don't have to be perfect with this. It works. It's so delicious. So what you're going to do next is take your cold cuts and put them on your dough like so. very simple it could not be simpler right look at that okay two things Vanji did not come running when I opened the meat which is amazing and the UPS guy just put something on my porch and Vanji didn't go crazy so he must be sound asleep and you're gonna put your next uh, Cold cut. This is our ham. These are Oscar Mayer cold cuts, but you can have them cut by your uh, in in your deli. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, you know that's that. And then you're going to take some of your Monterey Jack cheese and sprinkle it all over. I don't think it's Catherine's place. I think it's Catherine's plates. P-L-A-T-E-S. She makes some great stuff. She just made a Mexican Impossible Pie. Uh, yesterday that I really want to try. All right, so there's our cheese all over uh, the top. Then what you're going to do is take the long end and start to roll. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. It still comes out great. So here we go. We're going to roll this sucker up like so. Look at that. And that's what you want it to look like. And if you get any little holes in it, you can just pinch them closed. This is what we want it to look like, okay? Then what we're going to do is cut it. Actually, I like to cut the ends off because there's no, not too much filling in the ends. and. I found that we were just getting a big piece of dough when we got to the ends. So I cut the ends off, then I'm going to cut it down the middle, then in the middle again on each side like this. This is Catherine's tip for getting them even. Then we're going to cut each of these in half. All right, so there are our 
circles cut. Now, all right, I'm going to take a, a foil, you know, a little foil cookie sheet kind of thing that you get at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put that on top of a heavier. Uh, sheet pan because this is very these are very flimsy. All right, what you want to do is take your little um, Rounds and put them on the sheet. This is sprayed with canola oil Any kind of cooking spray you can use and you're going to take your little And just shape them into circles Put them on your board Okay, these are going to go in your 350 preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Keep an eye on them. You want to make sure uh, they don't burn, but you, you want them to get brown. So keep an eye on them. And I'll show you what they look like when we take them out of the oven. Okay, guys, there they are. I left them for 25 minutes, and they're perfect. So I'll take a couple for a little sheet here put them on a plate and what I'm going to do with these is uh, I'm going to um, wrap them in portions on foil and uh, have them for lunch on various days through the week whenever I want something quick and easy so that's what they look like. They're really, really, really yummy. So let's try one. They're probably super hot. Try one. Super hot. Super good. There's every single thing in there. The bacon cold cuts, the cheese, mm. scallions, really, really good. So guys, I hope you try those. They are so easy and so delicious. And, I, and thanks to Catherine's Plates for that recipe because they are so delicious. You really can't mess it up because uh, it takes care of itself. All you got to do is roll it, put your stuff on, roll it, bake it, and you're good. So there you have it sandwich uh, pinwheels. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hope you enjoyed your time in the Atomic Universe. I love you all. I will talk to you very, very soon.